21 years ago, we transported a clock to Greenwich using the same transportation on the river. And it was a cesium beam clock, which is, is sort of probably old technology now. It's based on microwaves, but the next generation of clocks is optical. This is optical quantum physics. And what we're hoping to do is be inspiring the next generation of quantum physicists to go to university and study those sorts of topics. So time is important to um, the UK and to the whole of the digital infrastructure because everything that you do is timestamped in some way, shape or form and is synchronised and without having accurate timestamping and accurate synchronisation you are unable to basically operate most of digital infrastructure. So in everything that we do and everything that is done in most industries and sectors without time they just wouldn't be able to operate on a day-to-day -day basis. So the, the atomic clock was loaded onto a barge in Isleworth. Amazing technology, and we all sat with it. We were lucky, we were passengers, but we had a team of eight rowers who were incredible. They kept rowing all through four hours, 19 miles under, under all of the bridges. Uh, it was really quite incredible. There quite a lot of water movement and a lot of boats around us because we were part of a flotilla, so incredibly exciting. A very unusual thing to do. But you know, passing all of the incredible sights all the way to Greenwich was remarkable and I would really like to go back and do it again, hopefully in another 21 years. Time is underpinning everything we do and it's necessary for the society and businesses to function properly. And by the increasing demand that we have on the devices, machines and sensors, the time is becoming increasingly important in order for us to be able to capture where they are, what they are doing, in what sequence. So it's a very, very critical element. We are making precision measurements. That's really what it's all about. And for us, anytime you want to measure something precisely, accurately, you try to make it look as though it's a time measurement or frequency measurement that you're making and then the time and frequency or the foundations of time and frequency is really what forms the basis for all these type of things that we want to go out and measure. You can't overemphasize how, how important accurate timing is in, in, in everything we do today. I'd just like to thank all the rowers from all the craft that followed us more than 30 kilometers from Isleworth over to Greenwich. We as NPL, the National Physical Laboratory, with Jubilant will be presenting it to the Royal uh, Museums as part of the refresh of the time exhibit. This is one of the next generation of optical atomic clocks that will form part of the developments that will redefine the second in the next decade. Hooray! Welcome, one and all, uh, to the celebration of time with the Jubilant Trust. Now, the clock here that, that you can see uh, today that we're presenting to Greenwich has come from the National Physical Laboratory in Teddington. For more than a decade now, this has been hidden behind new metal shielding to control the environment that, that is in the labs, uh, as well as from prying eyes. It's a significant development for the future of global timekeeping. On behalf of the Royal Observatory and Royal Museums Greenwich, I would like to say that we are proud and delighted to accept the gift of this atomic clock. As part of our upcoming 350th year anniversary, we would love to continue the story of time, its development and its continued importance to astronomy and navigation today. What we are trying to do together 
is raising public awareness of how we get our time, how we use our time, and how important it is to our daily lives. It's everywhere. It's essentially that invisible utility that underpins everything that we rely on in our digital infrastructure. But not many people know that. It's a spectacular clock. It's really exciting. And we're hoping that this will be a visual display that our you know, emerging 10-year-olds, 15-year-olds, hey, everybody actually gets very excited by the prospect of quantum time.